Well, hello everyone and welcome back to... Oh, no. No rabbit and bird. <laughs> welcome to... Sorry, I just... I had to check. It's like right there in my field of vision. Uh, medieval Dynasty. Uh, yes, it is the last day of winter. And, well, we've got some... Well, I've had some really good comments. And specifically about my fields. Um, basically, I got some great comments about how to take care of the field and also uh, how to undo uh, some of the extra fields that I put up, put down to get a bit of experience. Now there's, I think, you know what, dude, put the bow away. Um, first of all, uh, what's my weight at? It's 11. I can put away a few things, but for now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to head into town. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to head into town and I'm going to do a bit of trading specifically because and oh yeah 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 let's grab the uh someone suggested if you just grab the bag right and then if you you know if you equip it we'll put it into seven and if you were to right click it basically shows you what you can plant in the certain times of year uh and it says right now uh carrots carrots are kind of the thing you could look at that it, it actually gives you an x for the ones that aren't valid so carrots i can plant carrots right now now do i i I'm not sure if I even have carrot seeds. I can't remember. Um, I put all my seeds in here. There's uh, rye grain, wheat grain. Yeah, I don't think I do. I think I got all just the grains. So I'm going to have to go into town and buy some carrots if I uh, carrot seeds if I can. Now, I am a little worried about something, so I'm, I'm getting there. <laughs> uh, so basically, this is what? This is a 3x3 three three plus 1. I believe I have 10 fertilized crops now apparently i also have to plow the 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 plow uh like hoe this to plow it plow it in so that i can plant seeds uh here you know what dude you've got that bag in your hand how about you just put that away then we go put that away uh you have to plow it in and then you have to plant the seeds so we're that's what i'm going to try and get done today because my understanding as far as i I'm, i've been told is if i were to let this just sit and for the by the end of today and it flips over to the new season, I'll lose all this stuff in the investment that I put into uh, the fertilizer. So, uh, yeah, that's that's what we're going to do. So I'm, I do hope to be able to hunt for uh, deer and wolves and wisent and bear uh, at some point. So, But for now, I think what I'm going to do is I am going to go into town. I am going to pick up some stones and maybe manufacture a few things on my way into town. <laughs> I was thinking, I just stopped and I went, you know, I if I'm going to go into town and I'm going to buy things, maybe I should try and sell a few things as well. I think that's probably a good idea. Now, what can I make uh, just quick and dirty? I mean, I could make some knives, right? I could make hammers. What do I need? Logs and sticks. For knives, I need sticks and rocks, right? And literally, I mean, there's just, there's just rocks and sticks just lying around all over the place here. So, I I could make a I could make some knives. Hell, I could even sell rocks, but I don't think that's all that useful. Um, but yeah, though man, there's a lot of rocks. You know, I'm picking up a lot of rocks here, and most likely I'm just going to overburden myself. But that's okay. We need I'll, whatever I don't sell, I'll just dump it in the floor of my house. Um, yeah, we're not we're not getting too fussy here, so. Do, 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 Oh, it's too bad. Like, up. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Up here. Oh, I am getting a little heavy. Let's grab these sticks. If I convert them into knives, I'm hoping that, um, let's see, R, and we can make seven. Okay. All right. So we can make seven uh, skinny knives. Now, I don't remember how much I can get for them. It's not a lot, but it's, you know, not insignificant. Uh, my hope is just that I can just pay for whatever seeds I buy. Um, I think we can pull that off. The other thing I need to do is I need to look at my taxes. I think taxes get calc get paid out so, like at the end of winter or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, see, my weight is good again. So all I have to do is just grab a few more sticks. Do, do, do. I, love, I do like the music in this game. I do like the music. All right, I think we've... I think we've done enough. I think we've basically, um, no, 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 no. 
You can cancel by right clicking. I, there's, I think, a lot of ways you can cancel, but I want to do it the proper way. And yeah, we're going to make five more. So that'll be, I guess, what, a total of 15? 15 knives. So that's pretty darn good. I think we can get behind that. That's, uh, what is that, 450 coins? Something like that. Uh, I'm not really great at doing math on the fly when I'm recording. <laughs> Just, uh, you know how it is. Okay, now if I remember correctly, uh, the seed lady was, uh, she was a lovely young lady uh, named something. Uh, I don't remember what her name is. We're just going to call her seed lady. Um, she seemed nice and all. Uh, let's have something to eat before we go in there. Maybe we should have washed ourselves too, but uh, how's my meat? Four, a thousand, a uh, hundred percent, I mean. Okay, let's grab you and you, you, you. And what's my, oh, I am filthy. Holy crap. I am like 46% filth. You know what we're going to do? Okay, first of all, don't ever go swimming when you're exhausted. It's very bad for you. And also, you shouldn't go swimming after you eat. You'll get cramps. Now, but we're going to do polar bear swim. Woo! Because, <laughs> you know, it's the middle of winter. When else are you going to do a polar bear swim? And we're going to basically uh, dunk underwater. Woo! Play submarine. <laughs> Bing! <laughs> Are we clean? Yeah, we're clean. <laughs> oh, I'm all over the place. I can't remember what the hell I was doing. Oh, yeah, we were going to go and... Um, oh, yeah. Uh, I need to drink water, too. Jeez. Okay, let's just drink. There we go. All right, off we go. Let's find the seed lady. And we'll swap her... Uh, normally, I try to find... I. I kind of try to role play a little bit and I do try to find you know the appropriate vendor for the appropriate thing like if like sell the right thing to the right people no not you I'm gonna do um Adelina is it Adelina I think it's Adelina and she was over wait a minute you're not Adelina you're Mer Mildrida Adelina's in here no I, I made that mistake before I think that's she's around here somewhere there she is hopefully she's not in bed no, she's not. Okay, Adelina, what have you got? I need carrot seeds. Yes. I need, specifically, I would like 10 carrot seeds. Okay. And then I'm going to sell you because uh, I think that you would like uh, some some lovely knives. Oh, the, right. The My buy price is 30 The sell price is 11 All right. That's fine. These are going to pay for the seeds. That's really all I cared for, right? Um, they're 10 each. I'm going to get more back than I put in. So that's fine. So we'll just sell uh, all of them except for one. There we go. Uh, do I have any more? Yeah, that's fine. So, I, oh, inventory one. There we go. And we're up to 525 again. I think we're fine. Thank you very much, Adelina. Enjoy your finely crafted. Th those, um, now, Adelina, just see between you and me, those knives were made by master, cr master craftsmen from the south. They are of really high quality, and you should get a pretty penny for them. Good luck. All right. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to... Oh, my goodness. I ran into that child. That's terrible. Um, right. Before we continue on management, uh, I need to take a look at my taxes. It says I have a debt of 45. Taxes, 45. Debt, zero. I'm assuming that's unpaid taxes, I'm, this is the amount of taxes I'm going to be paying, so that's not too bad. I can I can I can deal with that. Uh, I I I'm pretty minimal right now. I've only got three buildings and a few, uh, a few other sort of um, fields and stuff like that. So we're not really uh, high rollers right now, so we should be fine. All right, let's get back to the base, and then we're going to we're going to um, plant what we can destroy what we can in fact before we well hmm ah we'll find out we're gonna discover this together <laughs> although some of you already play this game quite a bit and you know way more about it than i do um and i got really good tips in the comment fields and i really do appreciate it thank you very much it's very it is indeed very helpful okay let's just keep cruising do, 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 do. Glad I had a bath before I went into the town. I don't, you know, I, I'm trying to put on 
uh, a good show. You know, I'm trying to be, uh, you know, a very good person. I want to have, you know, I'm making my dynasty. I, I don't want people to think that I'm some sort of heathen. Okay, let's see what we got here. I need my... Wait a minute. Oh, there it is. Why did I have trouble seeing that? Okay, so I need a hoe. And I have a bag already. So what we're going to do is we're going to equip the hoe, which is right here. And we're going to put that into the sixth slot. Okay. Now. All right, there we go. So they, this is exactly what was described to me. Thank you very much for that, by the way. For telling me about this, how this works. Because, uh, you know, I, it, it kind of makes sense now. You can... You, know, you can use a plow, but you could get away with a hoe, really, if you want to plow things. Here, let's do that again. And then we're going to do this one. And I think that's all we're going to do for now. And then, uh, let's see. Is that my bag? Okay. And we've, we're have going to select carrots. All right. I should be able to just plant. Yes. There we go. <laughs> this is awesome. All right. It's not too complicated. I mean, it's it's fine. It's fine. I think it's a lot easier if you use NPCs. Uh, the other thing I get told a lot is, um, which is really good to know, by the way, is that um, really this game is supposed to be, uh, it's about, you know, vi a village, right? So automation and all that kind of stuff. There we go. All right. We have... Uh, planted what we can, what we had fertilizer for and all of that. Now that's supposed to, if I take a look in the bag thing here, it says right here, um, planted in winter, collected in summer. So essentially it's going to take uh, like three or, three or four in-game days for that stuff to show up. So that's cool. I can get behind that. And what I might do is, I'm, let's see if we can get rid of this one here. Now, not the axe, we've got the hammer. And I was told right click. Okay. Now. Uh, downgrade, destroy. Oh. It does the whole field. All right, so I think what that means is I am not going to undo this because that would destroy this plot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so it considers the field to be a single unit. This is what I wanted to find out because if, if it was individuals, I would have basically... Um, I could do like individual pieces here and it would be fine, but yeah, this is not, this is, this is not right. So essentially, you know, before we be destroy something, uh, what is this build destruction mode, uh, a house walls downgrade mode removes upgrades from them. Okay. Upgrade mode, house walls upgrade, repairing mode of a damaged building module and building mode. I'm going to go back to building mode because I think that's fairly safe. And I'm not going to accidentally destroy um, my field. Now, I know it's useless right now. I'm going to be paying taxes on too much. Oh, let's take a look if that made a difference in our taxes. It may not have. Yeah, it didn't. That's okay. I can I can get behind that. So we have, um, I think we've got enough money for taxes, etc. We'll be fine. Uh, the one thing I should do is put maybe if we could take a look at uh, journal technology. Yeah, I could probably go into this a little bit more in the future, but uh, I don't really, yeah, I don't really know how this all works. Wait a minute. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Okay, so we don't have any people. I have three buildings, uh, two of which, one is a house, which is my house, and then two buildings with no workers. That's fine. Uh, its condition is 96%. Oh, do I have to repair them? Maybe I should. Re I'll have to look into doing that with my hammer. Um, and then we've got a, uh, we've got one, well, we've got one field with a status of nine and one field with a status of one. And that's one carrot and nine carrot. Okay. And then we've got no animals. So that's cool. All right. Let's put away a few things and uh, let's see if we can go get some, uh, do some hunting with our bow. That's really, that was what I was kind of excited about. So I'm going to keep the knife with me. Um, the bag, we can put that away. I'm going to keep an ax. It's in, wow, it's about to break. Okay, what do I need to make an, another ax? Uh, I am short. I need a rock. Rocks and sticks. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab rocks. And we're going to grab 
uh, these sticks. I know there are a lot, but that's fine. And but I'm gonna, just gonna just so I have an axe on me. Uh, in case I want to ask any trees some questions. Oh my god, I can't believe I just told that joke. That's a terrible joke. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Oh no, that was that was. Let's just move on. I'm gonna move on from that and pretend it didn't happen. Okay. I'm gonna drop the rocks. There we go. Anyways, I just dropped stuff there. I I think some of it goes missing over the season, but that's all right. Uh, now we've got a backup axe, water skin with some water in it. Not a lot, but it'll be enough. Uh, I've been told I can probably just put away the hammer, but I can definitely put away the hoe. We've got arrows, and the rest of this, what's my torch at? 97%. And the rest of this is basically just, I've got, <laughs> I've been told that the St. John's Ward is useless, but it's only five, and it's not really hurting anything, and I'll put these feathers in here. Okay. And then I've got some food. Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 I think we're good. And then some, yeah. All right, what's my weight at? It's 10. Whoa, not bad. Got my bow. All right, let's go. Let's go and try the bow out. I'm kind of excited about this. Uh, I, the, uh, I, I one comment was, um, the bow is good and, uh, it's kind of cool, but, uh, they went back to spears after trying it for a little bit. And, but then apparently the long bow is even better. And then maybe that makes it, and you can like get like iron arrows and stuff like that. <clears throat> so yeah, I mean, you go up the tech tree and things definitely get better. That's kind of cool. And what I don't really know is how fast... Oh, there's a deer. There's a deer. I don't really know how fast... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, before we go... I did want to test something. Somebody told me that uh, I should look for the arrow with my second sight because the I can I might be able to get that arrow back. Maybe it flew through the tree or past the tree. Okay, let's get some. Here yeah, we got the hunting lodge. Not see. Oh, there's a spear down there. Yes, I know. It's so difficult. Life is tough. Oh. Okay. Is there anything else? Got the hunting lodge. I know that I was, like, throwing spears around willy-nilly, so it's actually kind of good to know that the spears kind of hang around. Yeah, my stamina's too low. I know, I know. Okay, nothing? All right, let's go up. All right, I think we should just do some hunting and be done with it. Uh, but before I do that, that spear is... It's got one shot in it, but I am going to equip it. Just, it's like a... I can consider that my oh-crap weapon. It's not much, but... You know, if I'm smart... Oh, I can't believe I... Yeah. Just just do it, oh no. Just do it. Okay, now we're down to the other axe. There we go. I'll make some backup spears. Uh, just in case. Sure, the bow is fine. But the... The... Uh, spears are a known quantity. So we can... I think it's better if we uh, make some... Have a bunch of backup spears. So, let's just do that. Okay. All right. <clears throat> and then we can finally get some hunting going here. Do, do, do. All right. Bow. Now, we did see a deer. You know, I do... I, I, uh, I asked about hibernation, and apparently there is no hibernation in the game. But this definitely feels like less animals. Now, there's two possibilities here. The first possibility is that I've hunted the animals, and my hunting has decreased the... <gasps> there's a wolf. Okay, we're going to try this on a wolf. One shot? Really? Oh, is there any more wolves? That's a wolf right over there. Okay, let's see if we can get this. 
Let's skin this right now. So we've done one out of three wolves. All right. Now, either, you know, it's possible, I suppose, that that one shot could have actually landed that I didn't. <laughs> that did not go as according to plan. All right, that's, I'm going to have to get used to the bow. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I could see the uh I could see how the bow would be like how people would prefer the spears and when it comes to these kind of these these oh crap moments. All right, maybe we're going to run into another wolf. I don't see any I would love to get that. The, the, apparently, you can get this the second sight so that uh, it also gives you, like, animals and stuff like that. Oh, that would be so good. Oh, 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 I see why isn't. That's on my list. Oh, hey, there's a, there's a road here. Cool. Okay. And there's, what is that? Fox? I think we can leave the fox. Oh, there's two wizened. I need two wizened. Okay, we're going to try this with the bow. All right, what's my... Oh, is he running away? Wait a minute, what's going on here? That was weird. Uh, I was a little bit worried. Oh, my goodness. Okay, they just do that. All right, all right. He's running away. Oh, no, 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 no. Why is he running away? Exhausted. Wow, this is, uh, I can see why the bow would be kind of, it's, it's a little, it takes a bit of practice and knowledge using it, and it doesn't do a lot of damage. Oh. Now, what I would hate to do is run into a, Okay, I think I'm definitely going to have to use the spears from now on. I can see now why people prefer the... <sighs> okay, I'm exhausted. All right, let's see if we can get some energy back. This is definitely a, a slow uh, process. I'm going for body shots here. Oh man, this is not good. That was a lot of arrows to take this bad boy down. So I'm thinking that the... Wait a minute, come on, skin. There we go. What are you doing? Are you not skinning? Oh, it did skin, okay. And it is also night, oh, 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 oh. Uh, sorry, uh, you didn't see anything here, but I'm going to tell you right now, we're going after you with a spear. Uh-oh. I got to finish you up. That was all my spears. <laughs> oh. Okay, but we got to go get them. Get some stamina back. Oh. Okay. Let's get this one. 
<laughs> that was something else. Holy moly. Oh, <laughs> and there's... <laughs> All right. I think what we should do is we got to get back home. Um, where am I? I am. Yep. I'm headed in the right general direction. Hey there. You know what? No, you know what? Let's just, let's just head back to the base. Uh, to home, I mean. Um, we've got... Oh. I missed. Oh. I should be recovering my arrows. I hadn't. I haven't even been thinking about that. Okay. Oh, there's my arrow right there. I probably got arrows spread out all over the the neighborhood. Ah, that's okay. All right. Let's go and get this bad boy over here. Okay, so the the deer it's not so bad. It you know the, it's it's kind of to be expected, I suppose. The wizen really is a big animal and it takes a lot. There is a patch coming that is changing like it's rebalancing a lot of the uh the the um damage and expect like uh, a lot of that sort of stuff from the from, from the uh, weapons oh hey there's foxes okay um here let's make sure i'm going the right way i am okay we'll head back down to the base and call it i think uh there is a patch coming that's going to rebalance uh, i think they nerf the spear a little bit but they might be i think they but they then i think they in, they improve the bow I'm not a hundred percent sure about the uh, about all of it. Um, that's but that's okay. Um, we'll we can get there eventually, and uh, I'll I'll have to. I I don't know if I, that patch has taken effect yet. I think it's still basically in like a a test branch, so I don't think it's live yet. So let's head into the base here. We're gonna get a bit of water. Well, we've already eaten, so we don't have to get a bit of water, but we will light our fire. Okay, and then we're going to cook up. Uh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to leave the meat on us, and then we're going to cook it in the new year because uh, apparently cooking refreshes things. So if I were to cook the meat, it would be... Well, you know what? Yeah, it would... Yeah, we're going to test that. So right now, let's take a look at what we've got. We've got uh, food. So I've got roasted meat, so I can eat the roasted meat here. I'll just eat all this. We have 23 meat with 100% condition, right? And uh, most likely when we sleep for the night, we're going to change seasons. And then essentially its condition should go down to about 75. I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I do think it's, it actually does better if you put it in the storage. So what we're going to do is we're going to test that. We're going to put the uh, half the meat into the storage, right? We're going to have half the meat on us. And we'll go from there. And then, oh, I've got flatbread. You know what? I'm going to put the flatbread in storage, too. And the fur. Oh, wait a minute. No. Uh, FEF. There we go. And leather. Nice. Nice, nice. Uh, the sticks. I'll just hold on to the sticks for now. And then we've got, what, a couple of spears. Man, I probably... What did I... I wasted so many arrows. That's not funny. Okay. Oh, and somebody told me that. That's right. Um, you the bows, the arrows don't go back in your quiver. You have to actually uh, equip them. Oh, wait a minute. How about unequip them? Can I unequip? And then now I can equip, and then that's thirty-one in my quiver. Okay, good. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to sleep and we're gonna test the spoilage. And I mean, this stuff's all going to change probably uh, as the game progresses, but at least we'll know what it is tonight. So let's, let's, let's just go to sleep. And we should uh, wake up in the spring. Oh, look at that! New quest, pay taxes! <laughs> so we get to pay our taxes. It's tax time. Gotta go see the tax man. But before we do that, let's uh, light our fire. And let's double check what we've got here. So the meat went down to 75%. So we lost 25% of the meat uh, from over the season. So let's grab that. No, we're going to grab all of it. And yep, 
Uh, the meat that I'd stored on my person it was uh, is 50%, and the meat that I stored in the, the chest is 75%. So you definitely do... Uh, things don't go as bad in your this store, this chest. And my understanding is that the food storage actually is even better. Taxes. Ah, here we go. Taxes are paid in coins. Every spring, you will need to pay taxes to the Castellan. Castellan. In the central village of Gostovia. That would be our friend, uh, <laughs> Unigost. Um, if you don't pay tax for last year, then the debt increases with interest. The following year, you will have to pay back both debt and new tax. Current tax with the debt is visible in the management tab. Each subsequent season, you don't pay your debt. Your dynasty reputation will suffer until you exceed negative 10,000, at which point you will be exiled from the valley and your journey will end. Wow, that would be terrible. Okay, so we're going to go take care of that because we don't want that happening. Uh, no, what I want to do is not that. I want to do, um, I want to cook up some roasted meat. So we're going to basically, uh, what is it? R E F. There we go. We're going to roast up, uh, all of our meats just so that we have some food. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really, uh, I'm living on the, um, protein diet. <laughs> I'm eating roasted meat and water. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's an interesting life. Uh, I'd love for uh, I'd love to have a little bit of uh, chocolate cake right about now. Okay, <laughs> so <clears throat> we're gonna go and take a look at and, and visit Unigos and take care of our taxes. Uh, before we go though, I do want to take a look at that management page where it tells me what the taxes are and see if it's any different. If I remember correctly, it was at forty-five the last time we looked at it, which was the last day of winter. So my hope is that uh, it's still going to be 45 because that's very reasonable and I can pay that and I won't have any problems. Um, if it's gone up radically, then I'm going to have to like maybe do something on the way to town to pay my taxes to be able to afford it. I suspect we're fine. I suspect it's going to be 45, but we'll find out. All right. One more meat and we're done. Okay, not enough resources. I understand. New building unlocked. Tavern. That's what I get for roasting meat. I now can run a tavern. Oh, it's pouring outside. You see that? Okay. Management. Uh, no, my taxes are 120. Still quite reasonable. I have no problems with that. That's that. We can do that. Now, um, I did get some skills in uh, crafting. Okay. All right. I'm going to just do the... Uh, well, we could. What, what, what are some of the others? Just to take a look. 10% crafting. Uh, faster. 10% faster for wooden and stone objects. Uh, faster sewing. We don't really need speed right now. Uh, upgrade and downgrade house modules. Okay. Cook. Blacksmith. So these are all faster, faster, faster. So let's just increase the rate at which we accrue points and uh, go with that. And then if we take a look at technology, um, oh, I can make a shovel. That's right. Somebody mentioned doing shovels. Uh, I'm not sure what new thing is here. Maybe it's this one here. Oh, this is, it's telling me that I can do it, make a tavern because I was crafting, sewing and cooking. Yeah, it's because I was cooking all that meat. So now I can actually make a tavern. Yeah. Uh, a worker building for cooking. It also has a workstation for cooking and a small storage. It's good to know. All right. Let's go and pay the tax, man. You know, when you think about paying your taxes... Actually, no, we're good on food and water. Oh, how, how clean am I? Hey, I'm absolutely pristine. When you think about you're going to pay your taxes, it's always a bit of a dreary day. Kind of rainy and disgusting i couldn't think of a more uh, applicable setting for such a task so yeah oh oh i don't have any quests up right now okay we'll have to look at that later um but basically it's i've just it's uh, not tracking the quest it probably got reset at the new season so we'll have to take a look at what quests are available to us and then we can uh, go from there. All right, let's find Unigost. Uh, that's not Unigost. There he is, he's down there. Okay. 
Hey, Unigost. Wait a minute. There he is. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. No, no, stop. I've got word. No. He's like... Okay. Yes, here you go. That should cover everything. All right. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I am a good citizen, and I'm paying my taxes, and your approval of me at 50% is not appreciated, Unigos. You need to do much better. End dialogue. There we go. All right. I paid my taxes. Oh, that's because the current quest was paying taxes. Look at how wet it is. Who are you? Grimelda. What, what, what are your stats, Grimelda? Okay. Um, she is 28. Approval of 50%. Hello, stranger. I came to this land recently, and I don't know anyone here. What can I do for you? She's new, too. Hey, so am I. I've only been here for, like, maybe uh, less than a year. Hey, yeah, maybe we've got something in common. Um, hey, do you have a minute? Um, why are we talking about work? What a day I've been working nonstop. You know, actually, never mind. Yeah, no, I don't really want to talk to you about... No, I'll go now. I'm not talking to you about work. That's very rude. I, I'm not... No, no. Nobody cares about my rough day, right? She's, she's unemployed. She's new in town. She's unemployed, right? She doesn't even have a job. And then somebody walks up and goes, Oh... I've got a job, but it's so exhausting. Yeah, that that's not a, it's not a great way to ingratiate yourself to others, is it? I don't I didn't think so. All right, so we still have um, and let's take a quick look at our uh, journal. Well, Unigost says, okay, wait for further events. So essentially, Unigost is not really a thing, but we do have. Uh, Wait for summer. Okay, so Alwyn's story is held off until summer. So we've still got our big game uh, big game quest. So we're going to track that one because that's our current quest. We need to get 10 deer. Oh, I didn't notice that. That's a lot of deer. I only need one more wolf, and then I need a bear. I'm going to need a lot of spears for a bear, I think. Yeah. Look at that. My carrots are growing. Isn't that awesome? Ha <laughs> ha! That is cool. I love it. That is great. It's not much, but it's mine. It's not much, but it's mine. Oh, oh, and look at this. We can get, uh... We can get our bird trap. We can get some rabbit. There we go. Now... The barn. Yeah, I think I need something to work on the barn. I built it basically because it was part of the quest line, but that's okay. Oh, I just realized I'm wearing my furs. I don't think I need to wear furs anymore. Let's, let's double check. Um, my temperature. I am comfortable right now. If I go and swap my furs out, let's try and let's get the uh, my regular shoes and what else? There was, I think it was, that was really it, wasn't it? Yeah, I think that was it. And then basically we have, um, we can, uh, what is this? Unequip? Unequip? No. I'm unequipping the wrong things. How do I, how do I get rid of my, well, now that's interesting. I don't know how to un, okay, here's, you, no. <laughs> All right, the simple, here's a simple thing to do. We'll just put it away, and we'll put that away. There you go. Problem solved, right? And then what I can do is I can then uh, put my shoes on, and those I can equip. There we go. So we've got shoes now, and uh, let's see. Oh, my bow. I need to put my... That was probably what I unequipped uh, in three. There we go. And actually, you should be uh, unequipped. No, unequipped. Oh, my God. Oh, it's automatic. Oh, my God. I don't like that. I don't like that. It places... You go there. And the spear goes there. Right? Let's 
Because that's where my fingers like to remember to go. What's this? It's like... I don't know. The, hmm, gloves? I guess those are gloves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the hand. Right, right, right. Okay. And let's go outside now again and take a look. And we are in reasonable shape. So I think we're fine. It's just winter we had to get through. All right. Um, what I would like to do is I would like to go to Hornica. And so I'm going to uh, fill up my water skin here. Oh, no. I was going to... Oh, not drink. Okay, fine. All right, here. How about we fill it? Okay. So I would like to go to Hornica. Um, I've heard that it is a place of magic and wonder. Um, and, yeah, not really. <laughs> I've heard that it's um, uh, a little more um, sophisticated than, or at least a little bit more advanced than uh, Gustovia. That's, that's my understanding. So we're going to head on up. We're just, this is just for, you know, exploration purpose. We're going to go up there just to see what's going on. And if we run into something on the way, then, then so be it. That's cool. Oh, you know what I should do is I should go over here and see if I left any spears or arrows. No. Okay. Is that a deer? Oh, nice headshot there, Ono. Oh, that was a terrible shot. Oh, nice. Okay. You know, I just ran up and started skinning this without checking to see if there's, like, wolves around. Yeah, not good. Okay. Now, did I drop... Yeah, no arrows. Okay, let's get back on the trail. Which should be right over here. Oh, hey. <laughs> Sweet. I I know I I I I said that you know you shouldn't hunt does, but I mean this is it's a different time, and I've got ten that I have to get. I still need three. Uh, I've only gotten three. I need to get seven more. Okay, where are we on the map? Oh, we're going. Oh yeah yeah no, that's the river. That's the road. So we're going up here okay well let's keep going we've got uh hornica yeah let's go let's go up to hornica i figured you know um let's we'll do a little bit of exploration here put the bow away you don't need it right now um we do a little exploration maybe check out a bit more of the you know we went the one direction to the uh we went all the way over uh here uh, for one episode. I mean, yeah, I was looking for animals, but really I wanted to go walk about anyways and see stuff. So I, I think it's time we went down here. And maybe we could even go take a look at uh, Jazerica as well. Although that looks like it might be a person. Not sure. There's more... Oh, these are the number of people. That's a sing That's a one or two individuals. This is a, a few. Okay. I never noticed that, but on the map... Oh, hey. Mushrooms. Uh, on the map, the uh, it shows you generally like how many people are, are at a specific location. I'm guessing those are they could be like all of the villagers, or they could be villagers of interest. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make myself a spear, some spears. I'm not feeling safe. I just had a I just had a chill run down my spine. Uh, there's some. I'm not feeling I'm not feeling uh, comfortable right now. I need to I need to get myself. I've got a bow, but we've seen how is that only two? Wait a minute, there's gotta be Oh there it is. Wow, that went far. Okay. Yeah, we've seen how things can happen around here, so I'm gonna I need a bow. I need to be ready for anything. Okay, there we go. Oh. Well, I do have a bow. Oh, oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh. Damn it. I didn't want to do that. Oh, grab it. Okay. There you are. Nice. Got you on the run. Ha ha ha. Good job. Okay. Using one of my personally handcrafted, absolutely amazing, fantastic knives made by me. I mean by uh, quality craftsmen from the south. Ooh, we got a bit of a got a bit of a pickle here. Let's take a look at the map. Where are we? Okay, so we want to go. Uh, well, we could go this way and then around, or we could just go this way and this way. I I think let's just keep going. We'll go uh, left. It, it looks like they both kind of go to the same place. So, yeah, we're going to go left. Which is, I guess, why it didn't give you a signpost, because it doesn't really matter. But look at that. Isn't that cool? Wow. Mountains. I like it. Look at this. There's like a waterfall. Nice drinking water from a nice mountain stream. Awesome. Okay. All right. Uh, off we go. We're heading out to, uh, I believe it's Hornica. Do, 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 do. Oh, we got another decision to make here. And, oh, another deer. You know what? Yeah, let's not worry about it. So Gustovia is that way. Hornica. What's that over there? I think that's another deer. Okay. Oh, there's Wizent up here. We don't need any Wizent right now. Um, okay, I want to veer to the right. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Oh, wow. Okay. Now, what's nice is that they didn't seem violent, but we're, we're just going to, like, be super careful and keep moving. Oh, look at this lake. Oh, wow. This would be on another really nice place to build uh, a base, like a village. Look at this. Like right in through all uh, in through here and then along the, the lakeside. Oh, that would be awesome. Although I'm guessing that that's what, yeah, that's what Hornica did. <laughs> that's what they probably were thinking as well. But they didn't build right alongside the lake, which is interesting. I wonder why they didn't. I mean, they'd need a fresh supply of water, right? Oh. Dry stream. Maybe they're having water problems. Let's see. Keep cruising on up. Got some deer. More deer. Oh, oh, oh! I see town. Okay. That didn't feel right at all. It didn't. <laughs> That's right. Run towards the danger. Run towards the danger. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I'm. I'm really. You know, as a light duty weapon, I am really digging the bow. Uh, I am really feeling pretty good about it. Oh, the other thing I want to do is we need to build a. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to build a little uh, like I did with the other town. I'm going to build a little camp outside. So let's uh, cut down a tree and gather some wood and make a nice little wash tub. We could also make a uh, a little campfire. Oh, there's some feathers. And then a tree lands on top of me. That is... that is Okay. That is the, the number one cause of death in medieval times. People bending over to grab uh, feathers while the tree lands on top of them. What did I do? Oh! Uh, oh, okay. I, something went up. I'll have to check that later. Okay, let's um, let's take a look. I want to build a other a furniture wash tub. I still need. Oh, you need planks. How do I make planks? I think the patch must have gone through because that seems to be new. 
Alpha 0124. You can see it in the upper left-hand corner. It must have gone through. Oh, no. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> that explains the difference in the resources. All right, so... Uh, I am overburdened. All right, let's head into town. We can, we'll just sell stuff. Or we could build a campfire. How about we build the campfire? Uh, other campfires. And uh, simple. Okay, that's too close to the village. So let's go down to this little bridge here. You know what, Fox? Mind your own business. There we go. And what we can do is, uh, before we go into the, to the town, let's, uh, let's roast some meats. Uh, we'll roast, ooh, 20 meats. Okay. All right, so that makes sense. That's why, um, things felt a little different. Uh, I, I think I went after Wyzent at one point with, uh, spears, and I don't remember having that much trouble with it, but then I go after it with a bow, and it just seemed to take forever. I'm gonna have to review how much, uh, how many hit points, you know, each th weapon does, and that sort of thing, but, um, yeah, I think spears are fast, they're quick and easy to make, and you can make them in the field, so that makes them really useful still, but we'll see. So, I, I suspect that that basically because you know i mean the wash tub didn't need planks before now all of a sudden it does so how am i supposed to if that's the case um how do i clean myself before going into town or is that even an expected thing because i mean i suppose i could go back to that lake and i could just uh wallow around in the lake for a little bit and clean myself off maybe i should that's what i'm supposed to do i think that probably might be it okay so why don't we do that? Uh, what am I? Because I am like 16% filth, right? And that's not good. We can't be filthy. We got. We're, we're going into town to to introduce ourselves. First impressions are very important. So we're gonna we're gonna come into the lake here and play submarine. Take a look and see that we're clean. All right, we're heading into town. Oh, they've got a wall. Oh, that must mean that they, uh, they're ready for trouble. Look at this. Okay. Nice. They've got stone buildings. Very fancy, very fancy. Oh, I like it. This is a really nice place. Hi, how are you? Okay, all right. Oh, hey, hello, hello, lady. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, t Leopolda, she's 24. Oh, nice. How about, um, hey, do you have a minute? No, I'm not talking about my, I'm not talking about work. Sorry, Leopold, I, that's very rude of me. All right, um, let's just check the, ba the the town out, and then we're going to see what we have for uh, things that we can buy and sell. Hello, Radamira. How are you? I do like the, oh, look at this. Uh, it's a smithy. Oh, Wow. Now, we can't... I'm not going to rob things. I'm not going to steal stuff from them. That's not right. A child. Hello, young one. We got people. They're sitting around. That's, that's kind of neat. All right. Let's take a look and see what we're dealing with. So, we've got uh, Yan over here. And Yan, uh, what do you have to sell? Wow. You are an ironsmith. Look at this. Shearing scissors... Scythe, pickaxe, iron shovel, iron hammer. Look at this. But the prices, I mean, obviously they're expensive. An iron knife for 180. Oh, that's this. Look at it. An iron axe. Oh, I I would like to be able to make these things, and I I will eventually be able to make them. Iron arrows. Now that's they're 40. It's an iron projectile for bows. Uh, the strongest type of arrow can be crafted in a smithy or bot. Now, this costs 40. I'm curious, is this, uh, if I buy one, is that literally one arrow? So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna buy an arrow just for kicks and giggles. We have 405 coins, we're not destitute. Um, I'm gonna buy one. And then that gives us an iron arrow. 
So there you go. That makes sense. That's um, okay. But if we need if we need a crossbow, this is where we can come to get one. That's cool because we do have some bolts. All right, buddy. Thank you. So yeah, these guys are a little more technologically advanced. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, any more sail? Uh, nope. Uh, how about over here? No. Now you uh, these these are all uh, potential additions to my uh, to my uh, my town, right? I think that's how that works. And yeah, and there's Helga and Carolina. Okay. Um. Oh, Helga's in the the uh, inn. Oh, you're like Yaro. Hi. What do you, what do you have? Flatbread, gruel, meat with gravy, porridge, pottage. Okay, so food. Oh, look at that. We could buy salt if we wanted to. We could salt meat. You know what? I'm going to just for kicks. I am going to buy uh, five salt. No. I'm just going to get a couple salt, and then maybe we'll salt some meat just for the experience down in our uh, hunting lodge. Just for kicks. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. All right, so we've got Helga here. Um, now, Helga's the local uh, food person, and then there was one other person from what I could tell. Carolina! Where are you, Carolina? She's in here. Oh, I, she probably is a seamstress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a seamstress. Okay, what have you got? Hello. Um, bag, simple bag, hood, tunic. Okay, so basically, yeah, she. You could buy things like linen thread and stuff like that from her. Same. This looks like the same price as with from. Uh, I can get stuff from Unigost, so it's not a big deal. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And is that everybody? Let's see. Carolina, Helga. Oh, Del, Delbora. Delbora. Wait a minute. Where's Delbora? Oh, no, those are just, those aren't bags. Those are, those are little people icons, not a bag icon. Okay. Yeah, I think we've basically checked out everybody up here. This place is nice. I like this town. And it seems really safe. Look at this. They've got walls, protection. I could. It's too bad I can't have a seat just in, and hang out with the peoples here. Yeah. In fact, I think that's what we're going to do. So this is a good place to stop. Uh, we have out of out of winter into spring. Uh, we've we've done some progress with our hunting. We planted some uh, carrots. Uh, I think we did pretty good. We paid our taxes. Very important to be an upstanding citizen. We must pay our taxes. So, yeah, I'm feeling really kind of neat about this. This is actually really good. Thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, where I guess we'll head back down into town, or back, back home, and maybe look at some other things we can do about building and maybe starting to make some progress and actually getting some villagers. I think that's probably a good idea. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, you all have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.